Hey everyone, Matt Reichel here with Boreas Campers. We are on site just outside of Pueblo, Colorado. Behind me, we have our 2024 Boreas XT. We're going to do the full walkthrough video on it here in a moment. What I do want to mention is that everything you're going to see in this video is standard equipment on this unit. So there's nothing here that is an option or an upgrade. What you see is what you get. Another thing I want to mention is all of the really cool upgrades and improvements we've made to the standard equipment on the XT. That includes lithium is now standard. We redid the entire electrical system with Victron and we added a cook partner stove that has 20,000 BTUs. So a lot of cool new features in it. So with that, let's hop into the walkthrough. All right, so a couple of quick specs here before we jump into it. The camper is 16 feet long tongue to tail, and it weighs 2,200 pounds dry. That puts your tongue weight at about 210 pounds. Up front, of course, we have our Cruise Master DO35 hitch with integrated parking brake. This is absolutely the gold standard in multi-axis hitches on the market. You have your standard chain, breakaway brake, and seven pin. So the seven pin, that's going to run all your running lights, but it's also going to operate your brakes and battery charging system. Behind that, you can see we have a little bit longer tongue than standard. So this allows for better off-road ability and also a higher performance in towing, whether you're on the trail or on the highway. Another reason for that is carrying toys. So right here, we have a two-inch receiver hitch mounted underneath the toolbox. This allows you to carry mountain bikes or a dirt bike up to 400 pounds without having to put them in the bed of your truck or on the roof of the trailer or even off the back. Moving back, we have our storage toolbox. This is where your battery and electrical system is stored, but the majority of that space is just open storage for all your camp gear, camp chairs, anything you need to throw in there. With this big box up here, this gets us to 40 cubic feet of storage in the camper, which no other teardrop manufacturer is able to hit that number. You can also add additional accessories up here. So you could do a luggage rack up here that can store firewood and muddy boots and things like that. You can also put two bike racks right here to carry additional bicycles. Uh, so you could combine it with a dirt bike or more kids' bikes for the whole family. Moving along to the driver's side of the camper here, we have our aluminum exoskeleton and our insulated composite panels. No wood in this camper whatsoever, so nothing to rot, mold, or mildew. You've got your 8x8 awning here. Uh, this is, again, standard. You can add that room enclosure here, so you can have a fully enclosed system that attaches right to the cabin of your camper. It's great. We sleep our dogs out there. It's a great place to change. As we move back, you've got your shore power plug. You've got your water fill. So this is for your 30-gallon fresh water tank that is mounted on a skid plate underneath, and it is located right on the axle line. So that allows this camper to have really good balance, whether that tank is empty or full. And, of course, here is your full-size spare tire. The most important thing on any off-road trailer is its running gear. That's why we've been running the Cruise Master CRS2 suspension on the XT for years now. We have been incredibly impressed with its performance and also its very low maintenance. It's tied to electric brake system and mounted onto a BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tire. Above that, we have our stand-on fender. So you're able to stand on this, access the roof, get into a rooftop tent, grab gear, clean a solar panel. And you're also able to mount additional accessories here, like jerry cans, things like that. 
All right, I wanted to crawl under the, here in the dirt with you a little bit and take a look at our chassis and suspension. So just like the foundation on a house, this these are the most critical components to longevity and durability of your camper. We run the Cruise Master CRS2. This has proven to be an incredibly high quality, highly durable product. We have hundreds and hundreds of these units on the road and we have yet to ever do an alignment. So that speaks volumes to the quality and the R&D and the engineering behind the Cruise Master suspension. Of course, you can't mount a suspension like that to any old chassis. What we offer on our chassis is a lifetime warranty. We have been doing that for a very long time. And the reason behind that is our chassis do not fail. If we were breaking chassis, we wouldn't be able to afford to offer you a lifetime warranty. And that's something that no other manufacturer is doing. Our chassis are laser cut. They're welded in a jig in-house. We do all of our own welding. And then they're powder coated. The chassis is ready to take that torque and abuse that these types of suspension put on it, but also the abuse that customers will put on it as they drag it up and down trails all over the U.S. So this was just some things I really want to touch base on and how important they are to that high quality off-road camper. All right, we'll start making our way into the cabin of the XT. How you're going to do that is through this door, of course. This is fully insulated door here. And what we've added to it is the Arctic Turn dual pane acrylic window. So these are really high quality system. They don't transfer the heat or the cold like a glass window does. Uh, they pop open. They have three different settings. But the real cool feature is the built-in screen or the built-in shade or maybe it's a combination of both so really high quality window on this door all right well let's hop inside the cabin all right inside of the cabin of the xt you have your full-size queen mattress it is six foot seven head to toe uh, over here you have your control center so you've got your 110 and 12 volt fuse panel here this is your digital thermostat for the Propex furnace that is 6,500 BTUs. That is going to keep this thing toasty warm in any weather. Uh, you've got 110 plugins here. You can uh, upgrade to the Victron 2000 watt inverter if you so desire. Next to that, you've got your light control with the built-in dimmer, of course. Below that, voltage and USB and 12-volt plug. One of the really cool features that I mentioned earlier is the Victron upgrade for 2024. So this is your battery management system. This is giving you really accurate live data, whether it's solar, battery levels, anything like that. Um, Victron makes a very high-powered system. At the head of the bed here, you have uh, your overhead cubby. This does have power as well, so you've got USB and 12 volts, so you can charge your phones or anything like that right here and then you have the built-in reading lights so if you're wanting to turn the big uh, perimeter lights off you can have these nice little orange lights overhead you have your max air fan that has 10 speeds with reverse and a settable thermostat another option that we've come out with for 2024 is the 12 volt rooftop air conditioner we are offering the Nomadic 12 volt AC. It's a great system. It fits right into this 12 by 12 cutout. It's lightweight and low profile. That's proven to be a very popular option already. Over the foot of the bed, you have additional storage. So again, this camper has over 40 cubic feet of storage in it. So a ton of space here, nice little magnets to hold these doors up. You can throw in all your big duffel bags, climbing gear, riding gear, whatever it might be, and hit the road. Coming around to the rear of the camper, down below the galley door here, you have a another two-inch receiver hitch. This one's rated to 300 pounds, so you could carry even more bikes or more dirt bikes back here. On either side, you have your levelers, LED lights with reverse. Here's our galley door. 
This is a fully sealed system with a hurricane hinge and a canvas rain guard. But let's go ahead and open this up. The kitchen on this camper has always been my favorite thing. Really well laid out, efficient system. Right here you have your stainless steel countertop, power center again. So you've got the switch to your water pump, uh, more charging ports, 110 power, and then you have your light that again is on a dimmer. You have a ton of storage as well. So plenty of room for pots and pans and food and anything you might need on your excursion. But later that is the full kitchen. So right here we have the stainless steel pull-out sink and stove. Like I mentioned earlier, one of the big upgrades that we made for 2024 is the Cook Partner stove. This thing absolutely rips at 20,000 BTU. Behind that you have your sink and faucet so this runs off the 30 gallon fresh water tank to the left we have our truma 60 liter 12 volt fridge so this runs off the battery and the solar we've always been really impressed with the truma brand we run their components on all of our units this thing can run down to negative 8 fahrenheit and it's got a great little tray here just able to access things at the bottom very easily for uh, preparing lunch or dinner. And another great thing on this camper is the slides that we mount it to. These are the AccuRide 500 pound rated locking systems. So this allows you to run this trailer as hard as you want down a trail and these components are gonna stay in their place. The other great feature is that you can quickly roll up, shut the door and camp is packed up just like that. Coming around the corner out to the passenger side of the camper, we've got our on-demand hot water shower. This feeds off your 30 gallon water tank. So great for end of day showers, hosing off a muddy dog, maybe cleaning the bikes. That feeds off as well as the 11 pound propane tank that we have here. You can expand to a dual set of 11 pound tanks. So you can have a backup or something to run a portable fire pit. Moving down the side of the camper, you have your porch lights. These are located on both sides of the camper. And they have two settings, both your white and your orange. Up above that, we've got our roof rack system. So you can see there's a bunch of different configurations, whether you're putting a 180 or a 270 on there. Another popular option is getting the shower room enclosure right here for some quick privacy. And then we're going to hop up here and look at some of the configurations and options for the roof rack. All right, up here on the roof of the camper, you've got your roof rack system. So this comes with two crossbars, again, configurable to your needs. One of the big options that we added for 2024 was being able to expand on the solar options. The camper comes standard with a 100 watt panel, but now we've set it up so that you can add either a single 200 watt or two 200 watt solar panels. So you would be able to have up to 500 watts of solar on this roof. That of course is if you're not using this space for a rooftop tent or something like that. But it's a great option to have for those of us that aren't utilizing this space. Another option that we mentioned earlier as well was the nomadic cooling 12 volt air conditioner. So that would replace this max air. Uh, and why we like that system is it's the lightest version on the market. And that AC unit actually fits right here in this footprint. Again, a very popular option, able to have 12 volt air conditioning off grid. All right, everyone, thanks for watching the video. We are really excited about the changes and improvements that we've made to the 2024 model. Boris Campers has been a leader in the off-road camper industry since 2016, but here we are continually improving our product. If you're wanting to get to campsites like this, this is going to be the camper you're going to need to get there. Make sure to follow us on social media. Check out our Google reviews as well. And if you have any questions, reach out to our team and we'll see you on the trail.